Hi everyone, Doug Tully, Outdoor Director, UCI Outdoor Adventures. So today we're gonna talk about <clears throat> how to pack your backpack for your backpacking trip. So the the idea that we want to, to accomplish is to only take what we need because the heavier the bag is, the more that we're gonna suffer and the less we're gonna have fun and enjoy what we're doing. So only take what we need and try to pack our pack so that it can take all that. Now my pack is 80 liters. That's a pretty big bag. So certainly everything that I have here ought to easily fit in this backpack. Mine has a compartment for the sleeping bag. Oh, there it is. So I can just take the sleeping bag and put that in the compartment below. Some backpacks have this and, and others don't. But basically the idea is that our sleeping bag should be the last thing that we need. So we, we kind of put that in first in the bottom of the, the backpack because we're not gonna need it till the end of the day till we set out camp and we pull everything out of our backpack. Uh, maybe it you know, gets something spilled on it, but maybe again, rain or anything like that are protected from it because it's at the bottom of our bag. That's the, the hope anyway. Okay, then the other idea is since our backpack is gonna be carried here with our body, Basically, anything that's heavy, we want it to try to be as close to our center of gravity, so as close to our low back as possible. So if you're carrying an extra water drum, extra water, um, anything that's, that's heavy, uh, anything like that, that would be what we want to try to put next so that it's... so that we're able to efficiently handle everything in the backpack, okay? I don't have a, a water drum or anything like that, so we'll just go with our bear canister and our tent, which again are pretty bulky because these are the ones that I use for our group trips at UCI. Just gonna get that guy shoved in there. I'll even put in my own hammock as well. And then we're going to start taking all of the, the little items, extra layers, socks, sleeping pads if they roll up, anything that we don't need right away. And we're going to find the little the little bits the little pockets of space that are in and around all the other bigger items so that we take up all of that space we have food and we have all sorts of things that we need to to get in there so that'll go in the main compartment and then hopefully kind of what you're left with are your your little odds and ends, okay? So it might be your cook kit. Maybe that goes in your main compartment too. Maybe I'll actually put that in my main compartment as well. But then we've got our first aid kit. We've got our cook kit. That can go in our more outer compartments. I can maybe Take something if I have a a, uh, a sleeping pad or something like that, and I can clip it to the outside of my pack, depending on what sort of straps you have, because this will be nice and lightweight. It won't throw off my balance or anything like that as I'm hiking down the trail. close up the top lid, which is called the brain. 
and the brain would be reserved for, you know, things that you want close at hand. If you need your water filtration close at hand, if you have um, a lighter or a compass or anything like that close at hand that you might need, maps, your camera, cell phone, um, those things, trail snacks, so that you don't have to dig all the way down in your bag to get things that you might need throughout the day. Uh, if you can do a, a good job of maybe packing lunch up towards the top, um, if you can't fit it in your brain, so then you don't have to dig all the way down in your pack to find lunch, then that will help you manage the, the packing and the unpacking of your, of your bag much more efficiently, okay? Last tip here is how to lift and put on your backpack. So every backpack is gonna have a gear loop. So that is what is made for lifting your backpack, you know, not slinging it around by the, the shoulder. I mean, if this thing is fully weighted to be 50, 60 pounds, you can dislocate your shoulder very easily with that sort of weight. So if it's down on the ground, I wanna use this gear loop and I can even you know, use my, my leg, my thigh. If I don't have a, a bench or a rock or a table or anything like that, I can just put it right on my thigh. And then you just wanna get one arm in and then sling it around to your back. Get the other arm in so that you can position it so that you can clip the waist belt. And the waist belt really should be carrying most of the weight. You know, we want that bag nice and tight and snug against the weight. So, you know, this is, this is gonna be tight on my waist so that it carries the weight, that supports the, the weight of the, the pack. If, if I had the weight pressed down on my shoulders, Boy, after a couple miles, I'll be like, oh yeah, I can't stand the weight. You know, maybe it starts to, to make my neck sore. Maybe it gives me headaches, you know, things like that. That's, that's no good. We want the weight carried here on the, the waist. That's why they give you such a, a nice, super padded, super comfy hip belt, which is again, if you're looking for a pack, probably one of the, the indications that, that maybe it's a little bit uh, more expensive because the comfort of the hip belt is important. The strength of the hip belt is important. It's gonna make your, your time out in the outdoors so much more enjoyable. So pay attention to those things. They're, they're valuable things and it's the proper way to do it so that you can enjoy your time out backpacking rather than dreading, oh, I gotta put the backpack on and carry the weight on my shoulders again. This is why we we create the gear and fit it the way we do and how it's meant to be used, all right? Well, I hope this helps give you some good tips so that you can get out there on the trail and enjoy it. The trails are beautiful this time of the year in the fall. Uh, the temperatures have dropped from the summer months. Uh, we may not have the hours of, of daylight, but the conditions out in the wilderness are beautiful right now. So I hope you get out there and enjoy it. All right, till next time, be safe.